Hello, I'm Summer Stephan, San Diego County District Attorney. Thank you for joining me for this week's DA News. We wrapped up an excellent operation going after human traffickers and criminal buyers that were buying young girls and women for sex. It literally was like a drive through like you're picking up a hamburger, car after car lined up to engage in this terrible activity that dehumanizes and subjugates girls and women and also boys and men to severe abuse and enslavement. This operation, which we termed Better Pathways, was an operation that was led by the Department of Justice, the Human Trafficking Task Force that includes my office, the DA's office, U.S. Attorney's Office, San Diego Police, Sheriff's Department, and many other agencies. We focused on an area in National City and in San Diego City that were riddled with human trafficking and prostitution activity. I had taken a ride along with both police agencies to see for myself, and what I saw was appalling. All hours of night and day, young women, young girls out there just being sold like they're a slice of pizza. It was absolutely something we had to put a stop to. And working together, this operation, which included 17 different operations, was able to really bring peace to the neighborhoods and to recover eight minors, the youngest being a 13-year-old girl from out of state that was being trafficked here in San Diego County. Also a sister, 21-year-old, with her 17-year-old sister who was pregnant and still being trafficked out there. These cases are going to be prosecuted, are being prosecuted by my office, the Human Trafficking Unit, uh, and they're being prosecuted by Flavio Nominati and also by the U.S. Attorney's Office. We will keep fighting this fight. We also had a great verdict with a case prosecuted by Deputy District Attorney Clayton Carr, who was able to get a conviction of murder and attempt murder, and the defendant was sentenced to 25 years to life. This was for a killing in Al Cajon of James Bowen and the attempt murder of another person. This is the way we keep fighting for justice in our community. Remember, we are here for you. Just reach out if there's anything we can do to help you, and I'll talk to you next week.